Hey guys, I just wanted to record a real quick one um, for the psych students that's going to just review some, based on our last Zoom meeting, I've made some adjustments like we talked about, okay? So I'm just going to do this real quick. In Psych 1040 evaluation update, we originally in this course before all this stuff had uh, three evaluations. That's actually wrong. We had four evaluations. One was the paper. You've already all done that, so just pretend that's on that that list. But what I meant there is there's three tests. Okay. So the first test you've already done. The second test is where we're currently at. And then there's a final third test. Now, what I had done is sent out a document that was basically a take-home test assignment replacement for the second uh, test. And uh, that's kind of what we were talking about in the Zoom meeting on Friday. So what's coming next is kind of my response to that meeting. Okay, I hope this works kind of cool. This is my first time doing this with a document. Uh, test two and three alternative assessment option. Okay, so what I'm basically doing is just adding another option. So this isn't really a change. It's just another choice. So I'm basically saying you can do one of three things. Number one, you can do test. Uh, you can do this new multiple choice test I'm going to be making. Okay, that I've already started. I've been, I spent a couple hours yesterday doing all the tutorials. I'm, I'm ready to go on online tests. All right, within the due date specified, you can try, you get one try. Okay, if you're okay with your mark on that, you don't have to do the assignment questions. More specific info related to the test coming this week, when it'll be up and running. So basically what I'm saying is, option number one is, you take the multiple choice test, you're cool with your mark, we stay as is. Second option, basically the same thing, but with the assignment. Maybe you're in the group of people that's already started the assignment. You want to keep going with it. That's what you want to focus on. You do that um, and go with it. However, I realize that the switch to all assignments may be heavy. Okay, so one of the reasons I'm making this adaption and this, this additional change is because I realize that for some of you, switching everything to written assignments is probably what's happening in a bunch of classes, and maybe that's not super helpful and maybe maintaining the original testing framework makes sense but at the same time some of you might have already started on the assignment so i'm in this weird position right so what i think i'm going to do is have flexibility and that's where this fourth one comes in okay number three do both and take the highest mark you could do the test and you could do the assignment. Uh, this is a very specific situation option that I would normally not offer to do this option. Both assessments will be due by April 17th at the absolute latest. Please do not attempt to ask for an alternate option after. Okay, so don't not do this and then be like, oh, well, you let other people do it. Well, if it's after April 17th, like, I'm not going to make accommodations unless it's very specific for specific reasons. I will make accommodations. I won't make exceptions is what I should have said. This is the option that's most work, but gives additional opportunity. So I feel that it's fair, if not equal. Okay, but I wanna make this point, okay? Because for you guys, the psych class, you have two tests left with me. I really only wanna do this, take the highest mark thing on the second one, because there was a lot of confusion around it. For the third test, I'm gonna have both options and you have to pick one and do it. There's no, uh, I think I would do better if I redid it and did the assignment or if I redid and did the multiple choice. Okay. I think that's fair. So I'm giving you this option three for test two. For test three, it's just going to be option one and two. And uh, I don't know. I thought a lot about it. I feel like that's pretty reasonable. I'll be using the same test bank as usual. I have, I'll be giving you uh, practice test materials in the immediate future. But I have been playing around with Econ and how to do this, and I will be randomizing things quite a bit, including things like answer order. So you can't just memorize that a certain question is answer C. I'm going to be not saying that you do that, but just so you know. Um, and I'm going to be doing some other minor adjustments to increase the integrity of the test. But again, I tried to do this in a way that if you study the practice test and prepare like you usually do, it'll be fine. You'll do great. This brings up this next point. 
I thought about it and I've made the decision not to use Respondus. Okay, a lot of teachers are using Respondus right now. It's basically a technology that uses your webcam to record you and send it to a third party, so not to your teacher, but to someone else that basically is watching to make sure you're not cheating. It's a new thing that's coming up to try to add uh, some protections to these online classes. Okay, although I'll be monitoring test-related activity like normal in Econostoga, I am going to treat you guys like adults and not do that. Please recognize that sharing answers, working together, or using cheat sheets during the test would be considered an academic offense that I would have to take seriously, and I would, because it's kind of burning me for trying to be flexible. You're an awesome group of students. You're such an awesome student. <laughs> group of students please act with integrity and don't take advantage of how i'm trying to be flexible you know i'll treat you like adults please treat this with integrity though the rationale for this is that i felt that the switch to all written assignments may feel overwhelming for some students who would feel more comfortable writing a format of test more traditional to the course okay more coming soon so psych group we're gonna um connect soon and uh, I hope that this update maybe relieves a little bit of stress. And I'm also going to be very flexible around when you do test two. There's no, I don't know. I'll come with that update next. Okay. So this is update part one, part, part 900, update 901 coming soon. All right. Cheers, guys. Hang in there.